everybody and welcome to Living Plant-Based with Rosie. Today I will be making lentils for dinner and I want to show you guys how easy and simple it is to eat plant-based and how delicious. So what I did last night, I soaked my lentils in water. I rinsed them and soaked them in water overnight. Now the way the lentils are this morning, they look exactly like this. And what I do, I do two things with them. I um, cook them and I have lentil soup for dinner, simple, clean, delicious, healthy lentil soup for dinner. Or I sprinkle them, I put some aside and I refrigerate them and I keep them in water, cleaning the water every two to three days and replacing it. I use these on my salad just the way they are because once you soak them, they soften up a little and they are so delicious. They're perfect for salads. Mmm, I like them. And um, I just sprinkle them on my salad. Since I mostly eat raw and my husband eats cooked, we both eat plant-based, I do this for him and I usually sprinkle them in a salad for me. Now, on very cold days or cold evenings, I will have a small bowl of soup to accompany my salad as well because this is so delicious and it's irresistible and so full of flavor. It's full of um, protein, calcium, and lots of minerals that our body actually needs to stay healthy. So what you do is you go ahead and you strain these. So you go ahead and you get your strainer and you strain these and we're going to rinse them one more time so i'm going to go ahead and just rinse them over the sink you want to rinse them really well because sometimes they have a little bit of dust or um not dust i'm sorry they have little pieces of uh dirt in them and by rinsing them very well and soaking them, you can get all of that out. Okay, so now I have, I started with about two, a little bit over two cups of dry uh, lentils, and these are the green small lentils, and I do buy them at Whole Foods or my health store. And then by the time they um, swell up, you can see it feels this is a small crock pot and it fills half of it. So I cook these in my crock pot and I cook them for about, I would say between three to four hours on high. And what I do, I take my crock pot to the garage and I plug it in there because I don't like the whole house smelling like lentils, especially if you have company coming in the evening or people walking in and out, you don't want to walk into a house that smells a lot like cooked food. So I do this in the garage, that's a great tip. Remember, it keeps your house smelling clean and it doesn't smell the whole house like food. Okay, so I'm gonna put water in there and um, you wanna fill up the water to about half an inch away from the top of the crock pot because when these cook, they're gonna swell about Half an inch to an inch is good from the top because they are going to absorb more water, the lentils, while they're cooking. So therefore, you're going to be using that water as well. The next step, it's simple, it's clean, and it's delicious. The more simple um, ingredients you put in this, the more you'll taste the delicious natural flavor of lentils. So, my husband tries to eat plant-based as much as he can when he starts working out a lot and he's trying to build a lot of muscle. So this is a great source of protein. And the next step is about one full teaspoon of Himalaya pink salt, or if you have a healthy sea salt, that's good as well. So we're gonna put that in and we're gonna cover that up and we will
will. Well, I'm going to cover that up and I'm going to put it in the garage to cook for about three to four hours. I'll check up on it and I'll be back when it's done. It's been about four hours later and here is the finished product. Here are the lentils. They've been cooking for four hours. I checked them at three hours and they were cooked, but they weren't as soft as I wanted them or as my husband usually likes them. So I did that, that's done, and I went ahead and I sauteed some white, uh, yellow onions actually with uh, mushrooms, with portobello mushrooms. I sauteed those in a little bit of coconut water with some pink Himalaya salt, and I went ahead and I diced some um, avocado, so I'm going to... Go ahead and make the little bowl of soup and I'm going to show you guys how you can serve that. So basically you get your lentils and remember this is a really um, high protein dinner and keeping it simple. Simple and fast and easy is good. So I'm going to actually show you guys two ways that you can make this soup. So you can make it this way which looks so beautiful. I don't know if you guys could see that right there. And we're gonna go ahead and put the sauteed mushrooms with onions over it. That's gonna give it texture and more flavor. So there we go, put those up in there. And then the diced avocado. So now I'm adding the good healthy fat. You, um, for dinner, since he's having the high protein um, lentils, I added the healthy fat in the avocado and that's gonna make it really good for him. So let me grab a spoon. I'm gonna taste this and let you guys know how good it is. So let me see. So it's super hot, I have to blow on it because you can see the steam coming out of the lentils. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Delicious, you guys. Oh, yummy. <laughs> mm. The sauteed mushrooms with the onions and the diced avocado just takes it to the next level of flavor, and it tastes so good. So that's one version. Now, I'm going to show you guys the... Okay guys, so this is going to be the second way that I usually prep this soup. And this one is probably my favorite. So you're going to get your um, blender, your high speed blender, and you're going to put some of the lentils in there, just like so. And make sure you put some of the liquid as well. And this is just for somebody that wants it a little bit different or if you um, don't like the texture or somebody in your family doesn't like the texture of the lentils, this is a great option. Then I'm going to put some of my sauteed mushrooms and onions in there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this. So I'm going to start at low, especially because it's a hot item in there. You don't want to start on high, and then slowly just go higher. see the you could see the steam and there we go we have a hot creamy soup and this is just a way of making you could actually put more of the liquid from the lentils and make it a little cream uh, water more watery but this one's a little thick usually I do put more of the liquid in there but what I'm gonna do since I'm putting it in a bowl like that I'm going to just add the liquid in the bowl. Let's see. And that'll work as well. Perfect. 
stir that up and oh my gosh this looks so good you guys at this point you could top it just like that it's lentil hot lentil cream of soup <laughs> you could top it with any toppings you want you could dice um cilantro in here tomatoes you could dice onions you could dice anything on this and i just i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of the diced avocado in there and i'm gonna taste this and my husband's actually gonna eat this he's actually eating right now the first bowl and I'm gonna give him the a second bowl because he loves this. This is probably one of his favorite dinners. Right, honey? Right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna taste this and I'll let you guys know how good it is. Mm. <laughs> oh my. This is so good, you guys. So delicious. Oh yummy. So the this one actually has the flavors from the onions and the mushrooms in there and if anything i probably put a little bit more liquid in there because it's a little thick but it's delicious just the way it is and that's two ways you guys could prep your lentils for dinner keeping it clean simple plant-based and super healthy remember the avocado is going to add the healthy fats that you need for the day if you didn't have during the day and uh, the lentils is going to help you have a high protein dinner. You could also serve this in a smaller bowl like cup size and have it as a side to a big dinner or plant another plant based dinner. Sometimes I do. I end up doing it that way as well. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. Also, Living Plant Based with Rosie. I'm trying to learn how to paste the URL on this page, but I'm not being successful with that right now. So if you could just go on, log on to Facebook and look for Living Plant Based with Rosie, you'll find me. You'll follow me there for great tips and recipes. And I also have a Living Raw with Rosie YouTube channel and for Facebook page where you can follow me because I mostly do eat raw sometimes. So you guys can follow me there for great recipes and great ideas on staying healthy, especially during the holidays. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.